today's video is about possibly one of the worst time trials I've ever seen in, you know, a decent race. This is Gran Camino 2.1, first edition, I believe. And wow, oh wow, this is shocking. So the positions are terrible. The the speeds are terrible. It's, it's just crazy. So this race was in Asturias, well, sorry, in Gran Camino, which is like northern Spain, pretty hilly race. A lot of people who were more climby boys were doing it, like Mike Woods, Cepeda, Sosa, etc., etc. And um, to be honest, it was quite a good result for Movistar with uh, Valverde winning the overall. But we're going to go through some positions of the time trials and just how slow people were. So the winner was Mark Padun, who, to be fair, averaged 46.6 kilometers an hour, which is not terrible. You know, it's not unreal. Uh, you know, the race had like a 600 meter climb at 7 percent, two of those and a 400 meter climb at 8 percent. But like, to be honest, it, it was not crazy technical either. And um, Mark Padun, yeah, won it. And, like, he is not good at time trialing. He was 113th in the Dauphiné time trial. Terreno Adriatico, 38th on the first one. So we think, like, you know, it's obviously some of these he's not actually going to, you know, go hard for. But he finished down on Ghana one minute in 15 minutes. So, you know, he's, like, really not going well at all. Like, that is... He is not a good time trialist, I think you can conclusively say... Uh, like, I mean, finished behind Alaphilippe, Demar, Soutelin, like, people who really are not good at time trialing. So anyway, he won it, which I think was mental. But, like, the people in the top 10, Mike Woods finished in the top 10 at a time trial. Now, he is is something else. I mean, there is just, like, there is no way that this should happen. Like, Mike Woods, that, I think, must be his best time trial result by far. Finished 104th in the Basque Country uh, TT and he I assume was going for for big for a big result he finished 31st in the Romandy TT okay that's the end of a stage as well 133rd in the opening TT in the tour okay maybe he wasn't going for GC 16th in oh no that's a team time trial but like he is not a good time trial again so it really was like the lowest level Nelson Oliveira okay he's not bad Jose Neves for W52 finished sixth. Derek G. I never even heard of G before. And he is finishing, like, I mean, he is, again, like, not actually very good. But anyway, unbelievable, to be honest, the sort of results people were getting. But the thing that's unbelievable is, like, Hugh Carthy was, like, 45 seconds down. Then we sort of go to, like, some of my favourite riders. Like, Sosa lost a minute and a half. Cepeda lost a minute and a half. And these guys are not good at time trial. They like, like, it's just unbelievable. I don't know why the general level was so poor in this race. But like, there were just people who seemed okay. Like, Bu was saying 30 seconds down. Like, Jesus Harada. Valverde finished third in the TT. And Bala used to be okay when it was more like Watts than anything else. But Bala is not good at time trialing again. And he, like, in the jury's 90 second on the first TT, 50 second uh, in the first one. In the welter, um, he finished 51st on the TT. Like, he is, again, not good. Like, we're, we're, it's just it's just unbelievable. So, yeah, Gran Camino, probably the worst time trial in, a, like, you know, a decent 2.1, I reckon, in the whole year. Um, pretty pretty crazy, to be honest. Um, but, yeah. So, if you've got any more comments about the worst time trialing positions, let me know. But I think this must be the some of the most hilarious results uh and positions that i've ever seen so anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one